Two, 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 two. This is not our second series. No. So, before we move on to the next turn, you'll notice that I've put out some landmarks on the landscape. Haha. -ha. And I've renamed them because I realized, well, you'll figure it out. It's pretty terrible. Or clever, one or the other. Anyways, these are areas where I'm going to put bases. Here, there, there, and so on. Three more over here. And I've managed to fit four in down here. Now, you might wonder, wait, why fit four down here when this area is bigger, or at least it looks bigger, and you've only put three? Well, first of all, I'm not using the land as well up here. Uh, you might have guessed that. Second of all, this isn't very easily used. I would have to build condensers and farms and extra better farms. It, I might use it someday, but right now, what, see, what this land is really good for is for a couple mines and a couple uh, solar collectors up here. And I can do make better use of that just by putting a bunch of stuff up there and then sending supply crawlers, which I don't have those yet, but we're getting there. So that's why. Maximum population reached. I still need to do something about that guy. Let's go take a look at him after uh, we finish. First of all, I'm going to, since... Uh, yeah, we're going to let this guy stay here. In fact, he's just going to uh, shift hold. And this guy is building a base. Hero's Waypoint. Oh, yeah! Hero's Waypoint. It's the Waypoint of Heroes, or something like. Anyways, let's get our uh, traditional bit. Recycling tanks, formers. We'll put a colony pod. Then children's crash and wreck commons. Then another call. Well, I actually I won't play the calling pod because I'll probably forget about it by then. But anyways, I would like to put another calling pod in there. And there's actually one other thing that I kind of want to do, and yet I kind of don't want to do at the moment because I don't have the support to do it really well. But this works really well in um, the expansion pack in Alien Crossfire, and that is, in addition to having a guy for defense here, you should also have another guy for offense with artillery. Because when enemies come in, and this works really well on mind worms, when enemies are coming in and they're getting close, if you can have somebody here who can bombard, then you can weaken them down a little bit before they get uh, too close to you. And it works well, like I, like I keep saying, it works best in the expansion pack, but it also works really well here, especially if you're going to play a game where you're having a lot of eco ecological damage. If you've got a lot of eco damage, then, or, or you know, if you're playing flea mar free market and just don't like planet a lot, you might want that. Or if you're just going to be warlike in general. But, for now, I have not done that. And uh, that's mostly because, uh, that's mostly because of the farm there and get rid of fungus and support issues. Now, down here. There's not much to be done while he's working on that research hospital. I can put in a colony pod or a sea colony pod. Kind of maybe wondering if I should use the sea, but... I mean, I could put that in there. I'm not sure what to do after that. Hopefully something will show up by then. Maybe one of these. I don't know. A sea pod. Formers. Maybe sea formers. There's some things that could be sea formed. Really, you could use a transport foil, but this guy's already got two support. Don't know. Who put the transport foil in, anyways? Drone riots. Lovely! Why does this happen to me? Because that's a silly question. Alright, well, at least we're. Remember a couple turns back, I was the farm and stuff? At least that's been taken care of, so he's not starving. We do need to come around and put a lot of farms in here. This guy really should not have gone to do all that other stuff, but anyways, I'll take this guy off, and yeah, it's gonna suck for a while. Oh, because we don't have rec commons. Ugh. Well, let's go ahead, well, hmm. I hate doing that, but but it's more important. Production complete. 
Anyone else getting... Okay, I see. He'll be fine, though. Let's see, there are nine squares here. Plus four, that makes thirteen. Huh. Request confirmation. Ta-da! And down here, there's nine. Plus five is fourteen. And we're getting five per turn. Request confirmation. So if we do eight, that'll take care of those four. Perfect. That helps. Not, I mean, it's not perfect, perfect, but it helps. And the fact that it helps is the important part. So I'm going to keep building uh, farms. I'm just going to build farms all over the place. This guy's going to come and build a road. And here we're going to put a solar collector. You're going to stay there for a long time. I don't know why I don't just have you hold, or shift hold at least. I love how my might is unsurpassed, and yet my military is like, eh. Aha! Aha! I knew that was a good idea, having this guy here. Drone have ended. Yay, drone riots have ended. Um, that does not mean, of course, that we can take this guy off, because the drones are still there, they're just not rioting anymore. Shift hold until we can get rid of the fungus there. Road. Part of the reason that we have the... Uh, I'm just checking to see how this is going. Part of the reason that we've got all the stuff going on is that, that we're unsurpassed is that we have a lot of bases and they're pretty big. Uh, and because they're so big, they're all like, oh my god, I'm so big, I can do lots of stuff. I've got a lot of production going on. Um, I was just to make sure I get it first. We've got a lot of production going on. We've got, I mean, it's not like super well developed. If you look around, there's a lot of undeveloped land. But I have plans to use everything, and I have the most territory. You can see down here, I have the biggest overall and the most population. Um, the combination of population, number of bases, territory, that's what gives me that unsurpassed. Because if we had to go to war, I could start cranking things out pretty decently. I mean, not like amazingly well, but... Decently, pretty good. Um, obviously, there are better ways to have, like, I could have divided the land up better, not have all this wasted space, sure, but that doesn't get factored into the unsurpassedness. Good God, you guys are all gonna fail. Or at least you'd better fail. Uh, you'll notice that Zakharov got tech from that trade that we did a while back. That's kind of to be expected. Shift told you. Um,. All right, you need to do some work, some real work. Move you down here. Because it's about time we started developing this land, and that's what this former was originally for. This guy is just building roads. He's just messing around. But... Turn complete. Maximum population reach. Yes, I know, and there's not much I can do about it. And We have a rec commons, and you didn't build anything else in there. That was actually my fault. I didn't put anything else in there. That was quite silly of me. Okie dokie. What should we do here? I would love a network node, but I also want a colony pod because... Well, actually, no. Our growth is stagnant. Stagnant? Should be fine. If I bring this guy back... Boing? By boing? That was smooth. Um, hmm. <laughs> Actually, it feels like it'd almost be a better idea to just leave them there and leave it stagnant for a while. Um, hmm. Or leave him there. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll do this, I think. And then as we build farms, we'll build a farm there, and we'll build a farm there, and we'll build a farm there, and everything. Always make sure that you hit change stockpile energy, because if you just insert it, it never works.
I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking whether I want to put a unit, because he, he could support a unit. So I'm wondering, should I maybe make a unit? Maybe I should make a, a colony pod or something. Um, but I don't really see why I should do that, unless I'm trying to build my military. I could do it for exploration's sake. Uh, send building a, a, well, sending a rover or a transport foil across the sea would be good for exploration. I could build another former, uh, and that would just give me extra former ring. But... Production complete. I thought I just looked up there. No, I looked at the other one. Oh, man! I went up there to look, and it was just, and it was, uh, and... Uh, silly me. Mostly because I didn't make the rec comments. I, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I, I feel like I usually play better than this, but I guess I'm not doing so hot this time around. That's okay. We'll take that guy out. And he'll get his rec comments in the next couple of turns. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. All right, this guy has, we effectively have roads up there. We might as well build a road over Fort Legion. Um, Sparta Command doesn't really need much development right now. Aside from maybe some more energy production and getting rid of that one fungus. But I kind of want to finish up this roads deal, so let's move him right there. And we'll finish up the roads. Colony pod, no. Obviously, we cannot go, this colony pod can't go to Hexary, Heptary, it could go to Octal, but I'm going to send him down to Quintary instead. I'll have to go all the way around the fungus, which kind of sucks, but that's the way it works. And we finally got rid of the fungus here, which means if I take this and move them over there, huzzah, we're getting some real minerals. And you'll see I've also built, um, well, the red commons are coming later. You know what, maybe I will switch those. There we go. Let's build a mining platform, Complete. which is the mining platform because it's on the ocean. So it's gotta be a plat, anyways. Fossil fuels in the last century reached their extreme prices because of their inherent utility. They pack a great deal of potential energy into an extremely efficient packet. If we can but sidestep the 100 million year production process, we can corner this market once again. CEO Nwakura K. Morgan, strategy session. Okay, couple things here. First of all, you might notice that it's like synthetic fossil fuels and what he's talking about. There's this 100 million year production process and you're all like, but green and planets and blah. So, one thing at a time. First of all, here's the doobly-doo. Um, no. Fossil fuels are really good at using energy. I mean, at storing energy. I mean, they're really good for that. They pack a lot of energy in there. In fact, compared to solar power, one tiny unit of fossil fuels is, gives you a lot more energy than our one square meter of solar panel that we currently have. Because the chemical bonds and lots of energy in there in the carbon, especially if you have a really big carbon molecule, like, you know, wax or something. Problems. It doesn't all burn cleanly. You're reliant on uh, old-style heat engines and theoretical efficiencies therein and some other weird things. And not to mention there's the pollution issue. And, of course, the issue of, oh my gosh, it takes so long to make. Scroll down for you. So, yeah, some issues. If you could make those without waiting so long, it would be awesome, because then we could just be like, oh, look, we need oil for something. Ta-da! Making oil. And theoretically, that shouldn't be that hard to do. All you got to do is take your carbon dioxide and make it into oil somehow. That could be tricky. That could be tricky. The other issue that you have to solve is, of course, um, pollution. And... The weird thing is this doesn't address pollution at all, and it gives you a way to clear fungus more easily, probably because you have gas to do it, like chainsaws and stuff. It also gives us missile launchers, so it's kind of odd that that's what we used uh, synthetic fossil fuels for. 
Go fig. Yes, we need to take a look at new stuff. Missile rover. Done. Missile skimship. I don't think we need the armor. Done. Missile battery. It actually is useful because the battery strength relies on the missile strength, so done. Plasma sentinels. Ooh. Done. Missile squad. Hmm. Missile infantry. Missile squad. Let's go with the infantry. Missile artillery. Notice that they don't bother putting stuff on the artillery. Makes some sense. Fungicidal sea formers. So fungicidal means that it has the uh, clear fungus and double speed stuff. And fungicidal formers. Also done. Yes. Let's do that. Okay, so a lot of stuff going on here. First of all, we have really basic stuff that we should probably get. We've got, see, look there, we can get the Gatlin laser. Uh, we can get air power. That's going to take us a while to research. Like, quite a while. But it would be awesome. But there's a lot of other stuff that we really need. So, like, this is going to be really cool. You know, get extra minerals. That'd be nice. Um, this one gives us, allows us to build mindworms, green economics, the empath guild. That's an excellent secret project right there. Over here, citizens defense force and non-lethal methods, high morale. So that's another secret project along with uh, two unit enhancement things. Down here we've got a unit enhancement and um, a base facility that the Spartans don't need. Free market economics and the energy bank which gives us an economy bonus and also other stuff, environmental economics, that's important. And of course then superconductor, which allows us to get a fusion power. Now, I should look into that because fusion power is pretty important. For now, let's go with this one because it'll be quick. And then let's come here, industrial automation. So one of the things that we're going to get from this uh, 16 years. Pfft, quick, my ass. Oh well. We could still, we could always change it if we wanted to. But I suspect that this will be a lot faster than air power. So, this gives us... Ah, that's, see that, I was wondering like why I don't have supply units yet. And the reason is I need this, and then I need that to get the into uh, supply transport, and we need the HAB complex. So, yeah. Supply crawlers, HAB complex, planetary transit system. I'm surprised no one's been building that yet. Hmm. This leads us to Doctrine Initiative, which gives us uh, cruisers. So you can see there are some really important things that we get here. Um, let's go to the data links for a moment and look up fusion power. Here it is. Requires superconductor, which we can research now, along with presenting algorithms. So fusion power is really cool because it upgrades all of your units, like everything. Presending algorithms is really cool because if you get the Hunter Seeker algorithm, you become immune to probe teams, which is really nice. But as you can see, it requires quite a bit. Advanced military algorithms, which we could have researched now, but we're not. Hmm. Deep read radar and AAA tracking, so that's uh, extra things for ship and against the air. Punishment sphere, which is a very bad thing to be using. And power, which is good if we ever get into war. Cyber ethics is also necessary. Uh, planetary data links, oh, that's nice. And knowledge. But it requires intellectual integrity, which we haven't done yet. We're kind of behind on the research thing, I feel like. Well, I mean, we actually we just bumped ahead. So we're probably neck and neck with Zakharov, but I feel like Zakharov is going to have an advantage. Anyways, let's build some roads. And then let's go over here and build a farm. Complete a target. Complete. Yes! Time to watch a movie. Information. The first principle of warfare must form the foundation of all your efforts. Know, of course, thine enemy, but in knowing him, do not forget above all to know thyself. The commander who embraces this totality of battle shall win, even with the inferior force. Spartan Battle Manual. Cancels a command center at every one of your bases. Done. So, some 
it's not like the most awesome of movies, but it is very much the Spartan thing, which is why we can win even if we don't have the biggest military, uh, because the Spartans are really good at winning. That's what they do. So every from now on, every military, every military we, oh, man, I can't talk. Every land military unit that we build, it has to be land, gets an automatic plus two upgrade to its morale. So Spartans already start with like a plus one upgrade, which is why we don't start at very green or anything. Uh, all of our things start at like disciplined. Now they're going to start at like veteran, I think. Or commando something. We'll find out. We'll, we should build a land unit and find out. It only for land units though. This, very important. Do not forget what Santiago says here. I love the fact that they have a manual for fighting. It's the battle manual. Don't you have a battle manual? You don't? It's kinda that's kinda kinda crap. You don't have a battle manual. Look at this guy, he doesn't have a battle manual. We've got a battle manual. <sighs> okay, so some things. We could um you know keep powering through eco damage. Eh, don't know if I want that. We could keep powering through um stockpile energy and just build up lots of energy. Sure. We could power through with the minerals. We could take some minerals away. For example, if we go down from seven, we could go down to two, or even better, that one. Um, which keeps it goes from what? What was that? Thirteen to eight. I would prefer to just go down to eleven, if we can. Other things to do. Yes, yes, there are other things to do. Uh, we need to build, we need a prototype missile thing. And I don't think we've prototyped a missile anything, so let's prototype one of these. We'll also build a perimeter defense. We might end up building a hologram theater, I haven't decided yet. Probably want a, a fungicidal formers. And we'll see. We'll see how things go from there. Production complete. Okay. Actually, um, with the growth issue, we should really probably do something else. Hold on. Yeah, okay, there we go. Make that stagnant, and then we can change this from being a doctor to a librarian and get some extra labs bonus. That's important. So now we, uh, we're not going to be growing, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're not building any colony pods, so that's not going to help us out one way or the other. But with the stagnant growth, stagnant growth is not a bad thing if you're going to be wasting your growth. We aren't going to get a hab complex for a long time, so there's no reason to have this guy on a square that gives us nutrients. Unless that square is going to give us a lot of other things. Um, this is a huge waste of stuff here, so... Request confirmation. It's 10, 14, that's probably times 6. 14 times 6? Yeah, that would be... Or maybe times 5. I don't know, I want to get rid of 3. Hmm. Let's just put in 18 credits and see what happens. That worked! Perfectly! Alright. So that'll be done next turn. Down here, we should really also do the same thing, so that we're not growing all the time. But there's just so many extra nutrients, it's hard to know where to put this, if indeed we should put it anywhere, or what we should take away, because everything we're... I mean, everything is providing us with, like, a couple things at once. So let's probably take this away. It seems kind of weird, but let's do it. And again we can change this from a doctor to a librarian. Although... I suspect drones might appear. I don't know, I just, I suspect that they might. If we go to a doctor for psych, we only get one talent. If we just put them back... Oh, we don't have a talent here anyways. Okay. Librarian it is. 
get those labs going. Now you'll notice that we've gone up from four, uh, what, 17 and 16 to 14 and 12. So that's that's helpful. A big help. What is this guy gonna do? What is this guy gonna do? Build stuff. Alright, so, some interesting things happening. First of all, I don't know if you noticed, but at the end of last turn, this guy appeared. He hasn't said anything yet, because he hasn't run into any of our bases, and we haven't run into him yet. Um, he's probably just exploring, because I'll bet that to him, this is all gone. Blue is Yang, as you can see down there. Hive. So this is Yang, which means that I'll bet that this over here is Yang. Um, when he gets here, he'll contact us, or we'll contact him, because he'll be, or, you know, when he gets within one square of the base, or one square of our units, that's when we'll contact each other. Right now, it's okay that he's there, although he is on our land, and we can, we can get mad at him and tell him to get off of our land if we need to. But, like I said, we can't contact him yet, um, we only have Zakharov's stuff, so we'll see what happens next turn. However... I'm running long on video, so we're going to end it here. We'll just have to wait and see where does this guy go? What happens to him? Bum, bum, bum. In other news, everything else is going smoothly and swimmingly. We're getting things done. We've got labs going. Everyone has rec commons or they're working on it. So, that's that. So until next time, folks, don't catch on fire.